Honesty. Welcome back to my channel. So today I went out and got a few things. Also, I just did a haul two videos ago, which I will link down below. So now that I have these new products, I thought I would just play around a little bit. Um, so I thought I would do it with you guys here on camera. Um, I figured why not get some first impressions, do a makeup look, and just get ready for the day. I am doing an It's Tasty Tonight date with my husband. And if you guys don't know what It's Tasty is, go on Facebook, Google, or search It's Tasty. It is like the greatest Facebook page when it comes to recipes. So we're, we each pick one recipe. We're gonna make it for each other tonight. And so I thought I'd wanna look a little bit good for that. So yeah, let's just get started. I think I'm going to start out with my skin today. I'm going in with my Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm. And I have swatches on my hand. Sorry. They are always there. I smell like a man right now. But a sensitive man. No, I'm just kidding. That's so just refreshing. Today I picked up the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. I've heard a lot of good things about this lately since it's, it's been out for like two months and I've been seeing it everywhere so I thought I'd try it out for myself and I'm in the shade 2 Alabaster. I think it's so interesting it has like a huge wand but I guess I'll just dot this all over. Oh, this is a lot more um, dry than I thought it would be. Like every time I've seen it on videos, it looks like super. Sorry, the sun is going in and out. I apologize about that. I mean, I have my light set up, but it's just, what are you gonna do? The sun has a mind of its own. Yeah, it's a lot more dry than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I don't mind. I just expected it to be more thinner um, or more watery. Wow, this looks so nice on the skin. <gasps> Ooh, I like this so far. It looks so fun. Look at that. It looks so nice. It just looks so natural. I think I'm gonna be going with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer today. I'm gonna take my Glamier Concealer Brush. downside to using a concealer brush is it really soaks up the product like that was two pumps and normally one pump is good for two eyes so I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it I think I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers because that was soaking up way too much product for my liking I, mean, I really like the concealer brush because it makes everything blend out smoothly but that just soaked up way too much product for my liking I love this foundation it's so nice I'm glad that Ooh, I love that. I'm glad that a concealer still looks good on top of it. Actually, this foundation is making my concealer look better than normal. Okay, I'm gonna set my under eye now. I'm gonna be using the banana powder. I'm gonna be mixing the beige and the banana powder and MAC Pro Emphasize. The beige and banana powder from Anastasia and then, of course, Emphasize from MAC. For the rest of my primer, I'm gonna be using my Airspun Loose Translucent, translucent finishing powder. And what I like about this one is you can be pretty sloppy like this, and um, you can just dust off the excess. And because it is in HD, you don't have a flashback. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my big old uh, icing powder brush, and I'm just going to dust off all that powder. Blend it all into the skin. That looks very nice. I'm very excited about this. Okay, I think I'm gonna move on to my brows next. I'm just going in all out of order. I don't care. Um, but I got. I also picked up the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette. I thought I would try this out. So you have a brown wax and then a powder. That's interesting. All right. So I'm just gonna comb out my brows. I like that it comes with a spoolie and a two angled little like little things it's double-sided i like that start out with the brown wax it's kind of like a i can't tell if it's like a wax or a pomade material okay i wish this had a mirror on it it matches me really well normally i'm medium brown this is in deep brown and it looks really good matches my hair color better because my eyebrows are a really ashy color and um, normally I use medium brown from Anastasia 
which is a more ashy color. But then it just makes, it, the reason it looks so ashy is because my hair is more of, has more warmth in it or coolness, whatever you want to call it. And um, so then it looks funny even though I'm using the exact same color as my brows. So warming up my brows a little bit with this color matches my hair better. Okay, so that is the wax so far. I really like this. I really like this product so far. And the um, little angled brush isn't bad either. So I just finished my other brow. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this brow product so far. I think this is really, really nice. I think I might like it better than my um, Sigma Brow Duo. It's really, really, really nice. The kind of pomade slash wax in there actually holds my eyes in place pretty well, but I'm still gonna set it with my brow gel. Mainly out of habit, but also just in case, because I don't want my brows going anywhere. Especially when they look this on fleek. <laughs> it's a really nice brow product. The drugstore is really stepping up their game. No wonder they're starting to get pretty expensive. Speaking of the drugstore getting pretty expensive, let me know if you guys like to see a cheaper than drugstore makeup look. So I'm not talking like only dollar store products, but like all those online sites that sell things that are really nice but still cheaper, like ColourPop and some Morphe things. It's honestly cheaper than the drugstore. So let me know if you would want to see an all affordable makeup look. Let me know down in the comments. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer underneath my brows. And the reason I do this is because it cleans them up, but then it also makes them look more defined. Is I take my finger and I just pat to blend that out. See, look at the difference. Huge difference, even though all you're doing is adding concealer. My eyes today. Um, today I also picked up this uh, Wet n Wild Color Icon palette in the shade Comfort Zone, and clearly you guys can tell that these colors are just. Oh, look at those. Anyway, this color right here really drew me in. I swatched all of these, and I don't know if they intentionally did it, but this shade right here is a duochrome. And guys, it is gorgeous. Let me just show you. So you get, can you see the reflection of the different colors? And this is, this was a really cheap product. Like look, is that just not like the most gorgeous shadow ever? So that's what I'm using on my lid today. Okay, so for my crease, I'm gonna be going into some Makeup Geek shadows, mainly just because I really want some matte things in the crease. So I'm gonna start out with Peach Smoothie. And I'm just going to buff this back and forth in my crease. Nothing too crazy. me going in with creme brulee. Same thing, same brush. I'm going to be taking a little bit denser crease brush. I'm going to be taking the E35 and I'm going in with latte. Just building up some different browns. Let's see, I think I really want to play out the teal in that. Hmm. So I'm actually going to play out some of the warm colors. So I'm actually going to go with a little bit of Dirty Martini. Um, I'm, just, I'm literally just playing around right now. If this doesn't look good, I'm sorry. And I'm going to be patting this. I'm keeping it really low though. I'm going to initially apply it. I'm going to go back in with the E35. And I'm just going to blend. Looks super neat, but it's going better. I hope. I'm going to this uh, Wet and Wild, and I'm going to go in with this light green. Just taking a large shader brush, and I'm going to go right over my entire lid. Color. Look how pretty that is. I love these Wet n Wild palettes. They are so amazing. It's so gorgeous. All right, so now I'm gonna take my concealer brush from Sigma and I'm gonna take this shade right here. 
Yeah, finger, for sure. Guys, this color is stunning. My gosh. I, mean, I am in so much love with this color right now. Okay, so I'm going into this little palette. I'm gonna take this brown shade in the crease. And go back and forth to make sure there are no harsh lines. Right, now I'm gonna go on to the under eye. For my under eye, I think I'm going to def I think I'm gonna go in with the same light color. Take a pencil brush. And I'm gonna go in with that green color in the um, palette. go change my shirt because I went to feed my daughter and then she literally puked all over me. Okay, so where were we? Um, before I move on to the rest of my face, I'm going to um, scrub my lips using my skin sugar lips. I do this step before I do my face powders because I put highlight right here and I would just be scrubbing away my highlight. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit while I do my contour. For contour today, I'm going to be using Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to be using my NARS Eda brush. Swirl it in there, tap it off. Love this shade. I'm not a fan of like the contour kit in general. Well, okay, I, I like it, but I like the other contour kit better. But this shade, Fawn, is like perfect. So now that my baby is almost five months old, we're starting sleep training. Sleep training is the worst and can be like the most heartbreaking thing for a mom. But, um, you know, they gotta learn how to sleep on their own eventually. Oh my gosh. Usually the days when I'm just like, when I don't know what I'm gonna do, my makeup turns out the best. So anyway, the way we're sleep training, with my first daughter, we um, did the cry it out method and that worked wonders. Like one day she cried out and after that, she was sleeping by herself. This one, I'm having to do it in sections. I'm blending it out with my uh, Morphe M527. Um, this baby, it's not working as well for her. So what we're doing is like, for every month old she is, I'm, I will let her cry for that long. So she is almost five months old. So if she starts crying, I'll give her five minutes before I go and check on her. I mean, of course, I'm going, I mean, before I go in and like comfort her. I mean, of course, I'll make sure she's fine and everything, like safe and not gonna choke on anything. But um, I let her go five minutes and then I soothe her, put her back down, and I just keep doing that. And um, she's getting better and better at putting herself to sleep since I've been doing that. So if you sometimes do hear a little bit of fussing, it's because I'm doing that sleep training. For blush today, I'm using my Morphe 9B palette. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm gonna use my E3. This is so pigmented, like you only need that much for both cheeks total. And then I just blend it. And even that is too much, like then I'll still have to go in with a powder brush and um, blend it out even more, but I love this blush palette. I'm gonna take my bronzing brush again and just blend that out. I'm gonna rinse off my lip scrub and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my lip scrub off and my lips are looking so much better. For highlight today, I'm gonna be using the Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Radiant Lights and MAC Light Scapade. But first, I'm gonna be going in with MAC Light Scapade. Highlight because it's just so subtle that I can do two highlighters. Now I'm gonna be topping it off with the vivid, ooh, with the radiant lights. I decided to move on to my eyeliner and totally forgot I was filming and to mention that. I'm doing some uh, tight lining and putting some in my waterline. I'm 
do my mascara off camera and then I'll be back to do the lips. Okay, so my mascara is done, everything else is done, so now we're moving on to the lips. And today I'm using the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. I did learn that these are not liquid lipsticks, they do have a line of liquid lipsticks. These are supposed to be like matte creams, so they don't have like the staying power that a liquid lipstick does, but it, it's supposed to still be somewhat matte. So I'm using this today because this color is gorgeous. I just got this today also. I love that color. It's just so simple. All right, to finish off this look today, I'm using two sprays. I'm gonna be using my Mac Fix Plus, and then I'm gonna be using my Scandinavia Setting Spray. I'm gonna start with the Mac Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna be topping it off with my Scandinavia Setting Spray. So this Clinique foundation, by the way, it's like it looks better and better the longer you the longer you wear it. I love this foundation. It just looks so nice. I just I don't know. It's just so pretty. I love this foundation. This gets an A plus in my book. And then seriously, guys, this palette from Wet n Wild. This cost me four dollars. Like seriously, this shade. Like I don't even know if they intentionally made it a duo chrome, but it's a duo chrome and it is stunning. So I really like that. Um, this lip color is gorgeous. I got two other colors. Um, one is like a berry and one is a red, but this is in the shade Seduction. I really like that. I'm impressed by this little palette thing. The, the highlight is nice. The uh, pomade part is nice. The, it's, just, it's nice all around. This is really good for the drugstore. I really, really, really like this. Yeah, just all the new things that I've tried today, I really, really love. Um, of course, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm always updating you on Snapchat, so if you're not following me on Snapchat, I have my link down below. But yeah, other than that, I am really enjoying everything that I've gotten lately. I can't wait to play around with my ColourPop eyeshadows. I just really, really was drawn to this and really wanted to use this today. So I decided to go the drugstore route instead of the ColourPop route. But other than that, um, I really do, do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big ol' thumbs up, comment down below, hit that subscribe button so you miss any one of my videos. And if you have any other requests, be sure to put them down below. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.